so given that there are no two from uh, that's what we, what we gather and he said that there are no multiple experiences <clears throat> how many experiences are there so how many are there <laughs> yes how many can anybody uh, uh, see at a given time is it different from yours and mine is it so let us let us go into our own uh, observation mode and find out how many experiences are there right now according to your observation it's saying one it's just one and even i can say there's just one uh, and uh, i've never seen anybody observe more than one experiencer or more than one consciousness more than one self there is always one so can we say with confidence that i have seen with my own eyes or yeah. using my own mind as a tool two experiencers we can yeah. never say that with certainty yes, that's true. That's we can true. assume that there are many but you know as soon we, as we assume something we are in trouble yes and i think this even reinforces everything that we've been talking about if you add another element that becomes either an experience or an experiencer that's so right can be so multiple things. as soon as we add another experiencer into the mix into the scene it it must become an experience in order to be experienced Uh-huh. and that's how logically it is impossible to have more yes. than one experience and now now i see how everything is true it just goes back to that always yes. always anywhere you go yes it always goes back to the truth yes. the experiencer in other words the experiencer always reduces to one mm-hmm. however hard you try to make it into two or three it cannot be done, it cannot be done. now there are other ways to see that there is only one experience now let us assume that there are two yes one on my left one on my right yes now who is watching these two who is observing who is recording the signals coming out of this two because we need to establish them That's isn't right. it yes, yes, yes. we cannot say oh there can be but mm-hmm. we need to actually see them as soon as i say there are two they reduce to experience exactly. and i am the one experience left that's right who is the experience that's right. that's right this can be done with anybody mm-hmm. and, and not and only me yes. anybody can find that you know they are they, they all they, are, they always reduce it always reduces to one now you can say that yes but this other person he or she is another experience sir i know it for certain but are we certain but but let us take a closer <laughs> look yes the body is different yes mind is different we don't see the mind no we never see the other mind mm-hmm. but we can conclude from the behavior of the person that there is probably a mind yes <laughs> probably <laughs> probably mind for some people we can conclude that is absent but Uh, for most of the people there is probably mind there mm-hmm. but what can we say about the experiencer in what terms can we say there is an experiencer there mm-hmm. for the other person what hints do we have apart from the report of the of the person yes you know mm-hmm. let's make somebody a guinea pig and mm-hmm. ask him or her do you uh, notice an experiencer and only thing is he is going to do is report that right. yes, yes i do yes you will never you know objectively or even subjectively be able to get uh, verify mm-hmm. if he is doing it or if he is saying it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then the question arises is it the same one that i am experiencing is he experiencing the same one that same i am experiencing i yes. i mean i am just roughly using the word experiencing here mm-hmm. experience experience that cannot be experienced you know so because there are no other words the mind can man can use so yeah. yeah so let us take a look at the sky mm-hmm. now i see a sky i i report oh there is a sky 
it's cloudy, it's blue, mm -hmm. and you also see and exactly. you report yeah. exactly the same thing. Are there two skies? No. No. The simplest explanation is there is only one sky. That's right. So if there is only one sky and we're both we are both reporting, reporting about the same it, thing? yes, it is probably the same. You see, there yes. cannot be two skies. No. Same thing about the experiencer or the consciousness. Mm -hmm. There cannot be two. It's not possible to establish that. And the only um, <coughs> conclusion that we are left with is there is only one. Only one. Always. Yes. And Always just the Yes. And let's see the quality of the experiencer. It is pure emptiness. Mm -hmm. It is nothingness. So, can there be two emptinesses? That, that's impossible. No. Can we measure emptiness and say one emptiness, no. two emptiness? No. It, it, you know, it's totally absurd. The mind cannot go there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mind cannot it's go there. It's not quantifiable. No. Nothing. That's true. No. That's true. Nothing. How many does not apply, mm -hmm. actually? Yes. If you strictly see the question of how many, number it does not even apply to the experience it is but, so so away from our day-to-day -day things mm -hmm. but with what you said so the mind does this right? mind does. the mind tries to figure out so many things that it can't understand which is outside the realm of its understanding and it makes up all these explanations about everything correct so how do we know that the experiencer is not a product of the mind very good. <laughs> mind makes up everything. Mind is making up this illusion yes, of the is. world. Yes. Mind is making up objects out of, you know, shapes and colors and whatever, and sounds. So why can't the mind make up an experiencer? Yes. It's possible, isn't it? So let us take a look. Let us make up an experiencer right now. Okay. I want the experiencer to look like... Uh Seven foot tall, <laughs> long beard, white. Yes. So, uh, if in it white is, rooms. if it is imaginary, if it is uh, an illusion, it should appear as an experience, shouldn't it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what is an illusion? Illusion is an experience. Mm -hmm. Illusion is that which is not that Maya. Right. Yes. So, the experiencer should appear as an experience. Now, mm -hmm. as soon as it appears in experience, then what is it that is experiencing it? Always the fluffy You can always question it. Yes. So, even though we can experience an illusion, the experience of the illusion, experiencer mm -hmm. of the illusion, the consciousness behind the illusion is going to be real. Yes. Whatever you want to define as real, let's define the real as opposite of the illusion. Mm -hmm. So, uh, no matter what you do, the experiencer is going to be real. Always. If, if, if it is a fake experiencer, who is experiencing? Who knows? <laughs> who knows it is fake? Yes. Because the mind can't. I, I suppose what but, but you're trying to say, the mind cannot even try to make one. No. Because the mind will always. First of the mind is an experience That's in itself, right. it's an object. It's an object. So what is it going to do? It's going to delve deeper into that the object, into Maya. Yeah. Until. It doesn't even make sense anymore. Yes, it does it actually and very successfully. Many people believe yes. that the experiencer or the consciousness is a product of the brain. It, even scientists say this. <laughs> scientists don't go there. You know, most of the very, very reasonable scientists won't touch this with a 10 foot pole. No, not even, not even. It is the right. job of a seeker, of a yogi mm -hmm. to study it. Science studies only the, the things that physical objects, stuff. Yes, exactly. Things that we call matter. Mm -hmm. That is the domain of the science. Things that can they experiment. They are on excellent that in that regard. That's right. True. They, they, they miserably fail when it comes to this. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's not quantifiable. It can be touched. Nothing. Yes. It's, so it's, this is the, outside the, of its um, expertise. Methods of the physics are yes. not applicable. No. They are. Even the mind cannot be touched by no. that. So, you know, it is like a doctor trying to fix a car. <laughs> the doctor doesn't know anything about the car. Only the car mechanic knows the car. Okay. And the same way, a car mechanic cannot do heart surgery. No. Not possible, you no. see. Yes. So, that's how a scientist has probably nothing to say mm -hmm. about mind or the consciousness. Yes. We need not take, if a scientist makes a uh, statement, it is just an opinion. Yes. 
It is not a truth. No, it's not. If a master says something about this consciousness, we better listen. It's true. Because master knows. So why does the experiencer exist? Yes. What's the purpose? <laughs> when he yes, has very commonly asked question, you know. Why is it there? You know? yeah. What is it doing there? What is purpose? Yeah, it's, you know? it's just witnessing, right? It's witnessing, but why? Yeah. Why? Yes. Uh, the, has it been given this job by mm -hmm. somebody to, you know, go and witness everything that you can? Or uh, when we are asking, uh, when we ask this question, why? We are looking for a reason. Mm -hmm. What can be a reason? So mind has this habit of, you know, uh, asking a reason for everything. Purpose for so, what is the reason of the camera? Oh, it is used for recording, recording the videos. Yes. What is the use of uh, a reason for a microphone? What is the purpose of a microphone? To make your voice the, you know, yes. sound. Sounds, yes. What is the purpose of a knife? To cut things. Cut the vegetables, <laughs> you see. Why are you even asking? You know, people yes, call very self evident. Yes. But as soon as we step away from the day to day things that, uh, that have a purpose and clear cut mm -hmm. reason, you'll find that the, the, the reason goes on making less and less sense. Mm -hmm. So let's take um, an example. Why is this tree here? <laughs> you can't say it provides here? shade, you can say that. Yeah, we can make up a reason, yeah, whatever, yeah. you know. Now, why is that hill there? What is the purpose of the hill there? I honestly it is simply blocking my way to the yes, city, isn't yes. it? I can't see it makes stuff my journey miserable. It, yes. <laughs> Why is it there? Mm -hmm. no. no. Why are there billions of stars? Stars. What is the purpose? You know, what is each star doing in this whole scheme of things? No, it is clearly beyond mind now. Mind can function in uh, things in a, in a small area where the purpose or the reason makes makes sense. The things that are of its use, the things that that are used for the survival of this whole body mind, they have a reason. Yes. Things that are you know of no concern to the mind, yeah. there are only two options. You can either make up a reason of your choice, <laughs> or simply say no reason. Yes. So. so so, what is the reason of the experience? No, no, it does not make sense to yes. say there is a reason either. It is not an object which can be used in a certain way, so we can put a slap a reason on it. No. No, no reason at all. No reason at all. Just there to watch it. Yes. Or in, it will be more accurate to say that uh, the word reason cannot be applied to the consciousness. Exactly. It is meaningless to talk yes. about the reason of consciousness. Things have reasons. Yes, that's right. Yes. yes. So, if there there's no reason for it, no purpose, as the mind always looks for it, but you said this is outside of its grasp. So how should we live our daily life? Yes. Given the very strange kind of knowledge yes. that we can, you know, it is amazing that we can even know this much yes. about the consciousness or the experiencer. Given this kind of knowledge, then there is only one experiencer, there is only one self. Whoa, how should I live my life? You know, is it even useful? Yeah, can I apply it? You know, I can I get something out of it? The thing is, <clears throat> when when this, this knowledge arrives in the mind, it starts changing the mind. Mm. The mind suddenly goes quiet. It becomes peaceful. The struggle suddenly stops, right. and uh, the most of the questions they end. Now, only thing that remains to be seen are the details, mm -hmm. <laughs> tiny details. details of what is. But the ultimate truth has been grasped. The experiencer has been seen correct directly by the mind, and uh, now nothing left to be done actually. So the mind starts changing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it starts letting go of it the small starts things. letting go of the small to. things, yes. you know. And so far, and the main job of the mind was nothing but survival. Always. Nothing more, 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 more holding greeds, yes. uh, fights, and killing each other. And this was the job of the mind. Mm -hmm. As soon as the knowledge dawns, oh, I'm just killing myself. I'm just oh, harming sorry. myself. Um, yes, that's right. And uh, I'm just treating my body like a trash can. Mm -hmm. 
when this uh, knowledge dawns that everything is me and nobody people are not separate from me at least at the go bottom most uh, level or um, the, the sub- substrate yeah, yeah is the same it is just me mm-hmm. so the conduct the sorry the behavior of the person our seeker starts changing he is more peaceful he is mm-hmm. uh, less violent he is less angry he is more loving yes. now as soon Very as you calm. see everybody as you there are no options left but to love that's right and you 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 don't get mad knowing that it's useless <laughs> it's useless <laughs> what am i going uh, getting mad at just me uh, myself myself that's right yes it is annoying it's it is pointless. different it is you know not doing as my mind is telling it to do but yes. at the end in the end it does not matter <laughs> <laughs> it does say nice words yes does right not yes so we take the life as it is yes. we behave spontaneous yes and the grief yes less we, yeah the suffering goes away it goes away so and we become more accepting we become accepting we start for the first time in our life we start really seeing the life as it is mm. a series of experiences that's just a flow a change yes. which it need not do anything about it it's just there just experience it yeah, make your experience it. as pleasant as possible yeah. can we make our experience pleasant by hate and uh, war murders crimes no. hoarding stuff uh, creating troubles can we may make our experience pleasant that way no no a seeker you know very quickly gets it and how how right when it's happening not even yeah you already see the classic was wait mm-hmm. shouldn't even be doing that <laughs> yes. we become more aware because yes. now we are living as as a, as an experience right? not as a body or a mind yes yes so these are the consequences of getting this uh, knowledge it appears like very strange and totally you know like philosophy mm-hmm. it's just out there it is very very strange mm-hmm. so mind says no, no, no it's not useful in the day to day thing mumbo jumbo mumbo jumbo you know just um, uh, uh, just uh, entertainment of the philosophers mm-hmm. or the yogis you know whatever they are doing mm-hmm. and we don't know what, what they do but the thing is the consequences are immense mm-hmm. the implication of this knowledge is immense so <clears throat> what is what has happened to me as a result of yes. uh, getting this uh, mm-hmm. Uh, knowledge thanks to the masters uh, i have become less concerned with uh, small things mm-hmm. only the bare minimum that is needed yeah. for a pleasant experience mm-hmm. i arrange that and i let everything else happen as a bonus yes when my uh, actions are aware when my my, my actions are in line with uh, what the experiencer is you know likes then everything happens in a positive way yeah i don't even need to do anything yes and the struggle is gone struggle is gone there is no need to struggle for anything yes, right. whatever is fine if it is not fine, fine. <laughs> because in the end it's just experience yes. why why there is uh, this trouble that i want only this thing i want only this kind of situation i want only that object i want only this person why 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 are these wants they are all in the mind yes we become too attached to yes. that but we should we, be knowing that, that everything yes just comes and goes comes yes and goes. so if we just take a look at the experience nothing stays nothing it just it is a fleeting momentary happening yes what stays is me Pure, Pure experiences, experiences.